So a super useful dashboard that's you know help, helpful. Um, I'm gonna actually grab the remote real quick, but before I do that, what I wanna highlight is that everything we've seen so far has been remote free and mostly just based on our, our gestures and our presence in the room. Now, we know our users love um, voice commands and controlling the mm -hmm. TV and doing queries with yeah. voice. So one of the new things that we're showing right here today is our new voice assistant powered by an upgraded Gemini model behind the scenes. So it's doing a lot more uh, nuanced question answering, giving really good responses back to the user. And we'll highlight a few of the, what, what that unlocks as part of the, uh, the new Google TV here. So we still do all the traditional queries. They all still work. So I can do simple things like, hey Google, what's the weather gonna be like tomorrow? So kind of classic helpful tomorrow things that you, know, you might wanna do. A high so it's and a low of uh, you know, localized to our environment. So we know rest of the week, it looks pretty much the same as today. Um, excuse me. So, so now that we have the weather, we can also do smart home automation. So I've set up this room, to kind of have a number of automations that are associated with it. So let's say you and I want to get ready to watch a movie, kind of a bright environment. We might even want to dim the lights a little bit. So I've set up an automation where I can say, hey Google, let's start movie night. So dims the lights, uh, sets the thermostat to a, a more reasonable temperature as well as this TV is equipped with ambient light sensors, so it's being able to detect kind of the ambient light in the room and kind of uh, subtly adjust the brightness so it's not retina burning when it's uh, at full, full brightness in a dark room. So the last kind of simple query that I'll show you is just kind of let's play a movie or at least a preview of a movie. So I can say, hey Google, Jurassic Park Dominion. Got the title a little wrong, but close enough, and it was able to pull up the card. You can see some of the new features about an AI summary about what the movie's about, kind of sentiment analysis of what people are saying, and then it pops into the preview, and we can see, like, this is a, a, a really premium TV with just beautiful 4K, uh, beautiful HDR graphics, so really an awesome, awesome TV for watching movies on. So, one thing I want to highlight is, you know, get a lot of information about this movie uh, right here. One of the things is, it's a PG-13 movie. Someone with young kids at home, probably not gonna be able to watch that with them around. So this is where I wanna show like, the power of these new nuanced voice assistants to really help us uh, get new, new ways of finding content. So I can ask a question like, hey Google, I like Jurassic Park. Can you recommend movies for younger kids? For younger kids, you might enjoy the land before so time. taking a real natural school. approach Both to asking questions can then deduce it and then stories. just provide me uh, some more age appropriate content. So Land Before Time, love that movie. For right from here, I can just add that to my watch list or watch it via the services that are available. So really cool, just intro on just like the media journeys that we have capable. So I want to back out of this just for a second and I'll turn the lights back on. Uh, for, for make it a little bit easier for videoing. Hey Google, uh, turn on the lights. No. See if that actually, okay. yeah. I didn't know if I had the automation set for that one, so uh, <laughs> it worked this time. So let's imagine like we've, we've talked about, you know, what other new uh, opportunities and what new user experiences get unlocked by having um, the Gemini powered uh, voice assistant here. Mm -hmm. And what I want to highlight is like, imagine you come home from CES and you're ready for your next vacation after the long week. You can start planning those journeys uh, <laughs> right there on the biggest screen in your home. Mm -hmm. So I can ask a query like, hey Google, recommend some vacation spots that have beautiful beaches and great hiking. So a very complex uh, query. What we're given is stunning beaches and challenging hikes. Consider these destinations. 
is a, is a summary of kind of the output of the, of the LLM, like of yeah. just like what you would expect as long as well as the voice Park. assistant a reading it back. Italy. But what's super cool is the, the integration with YouTube. Mm -hmm. so we're showing a bunch of YouTube videos that are kind of associated with that query and with that response that we can then dig in and really see like the beautiful places that you want to go because it's a lot more helpful in the TV to kind of dig into like what, looking at the Amalfi Coast yeah. or San Diego or something like that than, uh, than just reading the text. So it's a really helpful new way of exploring the world just on your TV and do, do kind of the upfront planning for your trips. So that's one idea that, we've, uh, or that we're, we're experimenting with or one query that you could do. Uh, the other one is when we mentioned earlier that the TV is kind of a communal device. Mm -hmm. So what kind of communal experiences can we unlock with this, uh, this Gemini powered voice assistant. One of the scenarios that happens in my house is, you know, the home's living room in particular, you have kids around probably doing homework, asking questions of me that I am unequipped to answer. So it's very nice to have uh, a voice assistant right there that can help us and find new content. So a, a query that we could do in Envision is, hey Google, explain the solar system to a third grader. The solar system is like a giant family of planets that orbit around the sun. The sun is a giant star that provides heat and light. So again, there are really um, in our solar system. targeted for, Mercury, for, Venus, for a younger Earth, younger person. Mars, really Jupiter, makes it understandable. Saturn, and what's great is the, the, the content is that associates with, with it. Size, you know, you have content about atmosphere. everything about the uh, uh, solar system. That orbit around them, Very much targeted towards uh, a younger audience based on that word. Like asteroids and comets. Travel through the for the sake system. of time, we'll stop the audio. Uh, some of these queries get a little verbose. Uh, so um, the other thing I want to highlight here is it's really cool that not only can you make the initial query, we can ask follow-up questions. So, you know, we've learned a little bit about all the planets in the solar system. Maybe you can ask like, hey Google, what makes the Earth unique? Earth is the only planet known to support life. It has liquid water, a breathable atmosphere, and a stable climate. These conditions so, allow for... Sounds like Earth's a pretty good place to be, and, and uh, <laughs> everything's working out, uh, as well as just a number of other videos that are associated with it. So, so far, we've kind of shown the back and forth nature of like asking queries and getting the answers yeah. from these LLMs. So the other thing that we want to highlight is what we're capable of is like creating a whole new experiences based around Gemini. And one of the ones I want to just show you right now is called News Brief. And what News Brief is, is it's Gemini creating a summary of the news mm -hmm. and then playing it as well as the associated sources of content where it's, where it's coming from. Uh, I want to highlight that it's not Gemini <laughs> itself making news stories, it's more a summarization tool and then surfacing it up. So it changes periodically throughout the day, but imagine you know you start your day and you want to see what's what's a snapshot of what's going on. So I can say, hey Google, play my news brief. Here's the latest news. Good evening and welcome to the news brief. Here's a quick look at some of the latest headlines. A massive winter storm is bringing snow and ice to parts of the U.S., impacting millions of Americans. So again, Following a deadly news many of the stories that are at the top of, top of the news right now are getting attack, summarized with updates state. from Louisiana six hours Governor ago Jeff Landry or other, other other to address the So it's pulling the Sources videos in front of YouTube? YouTube? Yes. It looks like the, the news video is on YouTube and on the homepage. Um, I guess similar in, yeah. in capability, but more yeah. uh, targeted for crime and, and yeah. summarization. It's being remembered this week. A so hey Google. celebration honors his life and Hey Google. Those closest to him Go shared home. memories at his funeral service. Okay. All right, so that kind of concludes all the features that we wanted to highlight today 